take root and spread abroad. Our Father, we we realize that you is God, and besides thee, there is no other God. Our Father, we we thank you again for your people, our Heavenly Father. Our Father, we thank you for the elders of, of this church, our Heavenly Father, and all elders, our Heavenly Father. Father, they have been on the warpath for a long time. They would not have made it if it wasn't for you, our Father. Our Father, we pray for the sick and shut in, our Heavenly Father. We realize that the leaning tree ain't the first one to fall. Our Father, we still pray for the and Son, our Heavenly Father, that as he's struggling and straining in his life, our Heavenly Father, he moved because of you, our Heavenly Father. If you were left up to him, he would never move. Our Father, not only him, our Heavenly Father, we pray for those that have that mean case of cancer and that high blood pressure, our Heavenly Father. And those that are on dialysis machine, our Heavenly Father. We realize that man made the machine, our Heavenly Father, but you made man. Our Heavenly Father, and you put it in their mind and do your will, our Heavenly Father. We just lean and trusting on you for everything that goes down, our Heavenly Father. We realize that you got all power in your hand. We realize that you allowed the devil to do some things, and we even thank you for that, our Heavenly Father, because you don't have to do that, but you do it anyway for that. For your reason and your reason only. Our ways are not your ways, our Heavenly Father. And our time is not your time. We pray for all the little children, our Heavenly Father, that have issues. We pray for the parents, that they be good parents and be good role models for their children and grandchildren. We pray for each member here one by one. If there's a situation going on with them in their body, we pray that you heal, our Heavenly Father. Not only one person, our Heavenly Father, we realize that you is a doctor that has never lost a patient. We only know that you is the only healer too, our Heavenly Father. We realize that you did it in the past, you can do it for right now. Continue to bless my wife and my family, our Heavenly Father. Bless all our church families, our Heavenly Father. Give us the mind and follow leadership, our Heavenly Father. Give us the mind of you, our Heavenly Father. Keep us on the spiritual side, our Heavenly Father, more than on the flesh side. Yeah, right. We realize that we can't stay in the spirit side all the time, our Heavenly Father, because where there's positive, there is negative. Jesus. You need both of those situations, our Heavenly Father, for the Lord to make it through. So keep us on the positive side, our Heavenly Father. We want to be godly people, our Heavenly Father. We don't want to complain about issues, our Heavenly Father, because it doesn't make any sense. We thank you again, our Heavenly Father. Thank you for all these visitors, if there be any visitors this morning, our Heavenly Father. We thank you for leading and guiding down this way. Thank you for all the urchins that are standing on your door purse. Thank you for the recorders, our Heavenly Father, that are trying to record your message and send it over the airwaves. We thank you. Continue to bless our pastor. Keep his feet in the path of righteousness. Keep him in the right mind where he can preach your word, our Heavenly Father. Have yeah, not to take away anything, just do what you need to do in your life. We realize that you can do that with him, my Father. Keep him, my Heavenly Father, in the path of righteousness. Guide him up and down these dangerous highways. Watch for him, my Heavenly Father. Bless Sister Pitt, our Heavenly Father, the elder of this, this church, our Heavenly Father. Continue, she just studied traveling. We thank you, our Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen.
blood was made for ransom to set the captive free. I know that I'm included. He will remember me. Oh, will, will the Lord remember me when I am called to go, call a go when I me this chilly sea will need a lovely show oh yeah oh yes he heard my fever cry from bonded he set me free and when I reached the pearly gate he will remember me at his defeat I'm kneeling My sin Are not confessed I bow In deep repentance My soul Is surely blessed My blinded Eyes is open So that The light I see When I The pearly gate he will remember me oh will will the lord remember me when i am called to go call or go with i to reach the pearly gate and he will let the show oh yes he heard my fever cry from Amen, amen, amen. This bring our opening to a close. We are now in the hands of our the choir. We thank you for your participation this morning. in the morning. 
know you don't have to wait till the midnight in the middle of the day. You can seek Jesus anytime you feel the urge to seek Jesus because he's always available for us to seek him. So we seek him, I know he'll come in. Because I have tried him. He has come in for me. Well, I'm seeking him right now because we get ready to do a song that we have not rehearsal, but with the Lord help, we can do it. Jesus said, you can lean on me. Jesus said, you can lean on me. If you lean on me, I won't let you fall. If you lean on me, I bear your burden. Just lean, lean on, on me. Come on, y'all.
never, never let you fall. I won't let you fall in the midnight hour. I won't let you fall. Never, never let you fall. Come on and lean on me. Come on and lean on me. Come on and lean on me. I won't let you fall. 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 Just won't let you fall. I won't let you fall. If <laughs> you just lean on him, he won't let you fall. Amen. Man may come in in your life and out of your life, but God, he's always there. And he won't let you fall. Amen. Amen. God is a mighty God. God is an awesome God. He is a right now God. There's a word from the Lord. There's a word from the Lord. St. John, St. John. The 20th chapter. John, the 20th chapter. Thank God for his word. The word is what sustains us as we maneuver and navigate through this life. That's how we are making it. Man, I, I would have been lost a long time ago if I had not had the word of God. And I know I have some witnesses in the building. Amen. 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 That's how we're here. That's why I'm here. Early in the morning, giving God the praise. Amen. John, the 20th chapter, and we're going to start with verse 24. When you found it, shall glory. Thank you, Lord. But Thomas, one of the 12, called Didymus was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails. And put my finger into the print of the nails and thrust my hand into his side. I will not believe. And after eight days again, his disciples were within and Thomas was with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut. Somebody shout the doors being shut. And stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thou finger and behold my hands and reach hither thou hand and thrust it into my side. And be not faithless, but believing. May God bless the reading of his holy and magnificent word. We're dealing with Thomas this morning. I want to talk to you just for a few moments on the thought, you can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. Thank you, Lord. I know too much, oh, good God Almighty, about him. By the grace 
eyes of the love I come a long way by the grace of the love I come a long way the grace of the love of come along way I could have been dead sleeping in my grave but just for one word and made old death behave by the grave of the love. I've come, I've come, anybody here come, I've come a long way. the grace good God almighty it was by the grace of the love I come a long way down through the years you know he been good by the grace got tired on this journey sometime by the grace Singers in my body by the grave, trouble in my home by the grave, trouble on your job by the grave of the Lord. For the best and I come, anybody come, I've come along. Way, brother Eric, I come a long way. Anybody here know that you come a long way? When I couldn't see my way, nobody but Jesus. Anybody here know it was nobody but Jesus? Anybody here know he woke you, woke you up this morning? Early this morning, good God Almighty, thank you, Lord, by the grace of the Lord. I've come, I've come, I've come, I've come a long way. Come on, give God some praise in the building. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be here. Good God Almighty. God, he brought us. He brought us. If there's a praise in you, lift it up. We came to lift up the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Good God Almighty. Hold me, Holy Ghost. Hold me, Holy Ghost. I feel a sweet spirit in this place. I feel a sweet spirit on this early morning. I feel a sweet spirit in this place hallelujah the devil didn't stop us this morning good god almighty how many know the devil try to block your way good god almighty try to tell you to stay on in the bed and and you don't need to come out but good god almighty i'm so glad that i didn't listen to the devil hallelujah i'm glad to to be in the fellowship with my damascus missionary family it's good to come together and see all your faces. And all week long, you know, we all went through something. We all got something that we are going through. But we pressed our way this morning. We could have stayed in the bed like so many did. But I can't sleep on God. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. He's been too good to me. You don't know my story. You just don't know how he brought me through seen and unseen dangers when I couldn't see my way and 
and how you're, you're in the hospital and God brought you out of the hospital and saying you're going to do better and still go home and sit down on it. Somebody say amen to Billy. He been good. He been good. Nothing but super good to all of us. Not just to me, but to all of us. He's been excellent. And I love uh, his excellent spirit. He, he's got an excellent spirit, not, not just a sometime spirit. You know, some of our spirits are just sometime. We got these sometime spirits, but, but God is a continual God of mercies and grace. Eternal Father, I, I come at this time, Father, standing before your people, lifting up your name, Jesus. Father, I ask you to bless us as we worship you today. Father, I'm praying that your special anointing will fall fresh down upon each one of us, just like the dew in the morning that is so fresh on the ground. Let your spirit be fresh within us. A newness, a new beginning in our spirit, Lord. Lord, we just thank you and we are so grateful to you. Hide me behind the old rugged cross. For I want your people to see you, Father, and not me. Because I know it is all about you. In your name, Father. I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Everybody singing. Thank you, Lord. We're just so grateful. We're just giving him all the praise this morning. I thought for today in my assignment, you can't make me doubt him. Uh, you can't make me doubt him because truly I know too much about him. I know what he's done to Mama Pitts down through the years. I know how he has kept me. When I could have been on side of the road, I, I could have been homeless. I could have been one of the panhandlers, a man that's standing on side the road, standing with a sign, but, but, but God, but God kept us. I don't know about you, but it, it means something to have a mind to want to do better, a mind to keep going. Even though the storm clouds are still rising in our lives, and even though pain is still here, <clears throat> we are not here because we have no pain. We're not here because we have no problems. We're here because we do have those situations, and we're here to, the, to come to get healed because the water is ready for healing. Man, man, ready to get in the pool. Amen. Man, man, at the Bethesda, <clears throat> down at the pool. Amen. And man, he, uh, everybody was stepping in before him. But I'm here to tell you, it's your opportunity, it's your time to come to get a word from the Lord. And I want to encourage you that it's the word that's sustaining us. A lot of people think it's because of your intellect and because of the places that you've been or because that you have just been smart and you're just getting away from everything. But I want you to know that it's because of Jesus. Everything that we do is because of him. It's all about Jesus. Deacon Powell, I've always said the years I've been here, over 22 years, and I've always preached it's all about Jesus. 
because I know in my spirit that it's all about him, Sister Tasha. Nobody else but him. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody sustain me like Jesus can. Can't nobody rock me in the middle of the night. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Like Jesus can. He is good all the time. He is good all the time. He is an awesome God. He is a mighty God. He's always there. You can't make me doubt him. <laughs> I know too much about him. I know too much. I, I, I've experienced it. Now, now, now Thomas, now, we always want to beat up on Thomas. We always want to say that Tom, the doubting Thomas. We call him the doubting Thomas. But we got a lot of doubting Thomas today, amen. <laughs> Thomas is today. Amen. Is somebody say, I just want to see it. I just want to feel it. I just want to know what you guys are talking about. But look at Thomas. We, we, we don't want to beat up on Thomas this morning. I know he's a doubting Thomas. I know he doubted when he should have been believing like we are today. We're doubting a lot of time when we should be believing. We, we, we are. We, we, we are in situations that we feel like we can't make it. We feel like we, we just can't find our way but but and we seem we, we want to start doubting God but we need to start remembering what he's done in the past see now now Thomas wasn't in the meeting look 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 at the word of God in in, in uh, John the 20th chapter verses 24 and look it says but Thomas one of the 12 called Didymus was not with them when Jesus came. See, Thomas didn't have that experience with God. He wasn't there. So since he wasn't there in his spirit, he had not had an encounter. Come on now, now I want you to follow me. <laughs> That's where we are. A lot of times you just really hadn't experienced God. That's why you're doubting. Come on. You, come on, you, you really haven't experienced him. Now, a lot of us talk about him. But have you, have you ever go into a, a strong, a lot of us are simply dating God. Lord, have mercy. Mm. Just dating. Just dating, just going to the movie. Come on, come on, come on. Just riding around in your car. Going out to eat with, come on. Just dating God. You need to put a ring on the finger. And somebody say amen. 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 You need to marry him. <laughs> you need to marry her. Amen. And dating too long. A lot of us want to go to a long dating relationship. But when God sends you somebody, you better move. Somebody say amen. That may be for somebody in the building. <laughs> Maybe for somebody that's listening on video. Amen. When God sends you somebody. You need to do it, amen, sister, amen. You need to do it. Stop dating God. Once you come into a close relationship, somebody said relationship. When you have a relationship with someone, you're concerned about that person. It bothers me for a person to be in a relationship and you aren't concerned about your mate. You're not concerned about your children. You're not concerned about your church. That's, that's, that's something wrong with that. Something is not right. Yeah, yeah. When, when, when you really got God on the inside, you're going to be concerned. And you're going, when, you, when you're in a relationship, I mean a real relationship, not just something made up and you just looking at the outward appearance. A lot of us are so caught up on what you got on, how the person look. And how many know these looks are going to change? <laughs> Lord Jesus. Over the years, you're not the same person you were when you were 20 years old. And the right deacon selling. Amen. We're not the same person that we were. Things change. So you don't want to go in a relationship just looking at folks. Amen. Looking at what a person looks like. You got to love that spirit of that person. You got to love the God in that person. Some people say, well, why are you with that person? Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> you sure don't know. Amen. 
because you're with you're loving the spirit of that person. And man, people are looking at the outward appearance of things, but you better look at the heart. If you want a, con a consistent and stability in your life, you better look at the heart of people. Ask God to send you someone that's going to take care of you. Come on, come on. All these looks and all this stuff going to pass on. Amen. Amen. But you, then you're going to look at each other and say, oh, Lord, <laughs> times have changed. <laughs> we have changed over the years. Somebody say, amen. We aren't the same. We aren't the same. But when you go in a strong relationship with God, your, 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 your power, you got power. Somebody said power. Those that was in Sunday school this morning talked to the Sunday school lesson about wisdom, the man's wisdom and then the wisdom of God, that they couldn't understand the foolishness of preaching in that right sense of the gun. They couldn't understand the foolishness of preaching, preaching the cross, preaching Jesus. We got to preach Jesus. A very simple gospel is that he loved us so very much that he gave his only begotten son. He died on Calvary Hill. But early Sunday morning, he got up. A very simple, simple uh, 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 way to salvation. But man want to, in his wisdom and in intellect, he want to make it complicated. But it's not complicated. Give your life to Christ. Give it to him while you have a chance, while the blood is still running warm in your veins. I'm, I'm trying to introduce each one of you to eternal life because this world is passing by and we all have an expiration date. We're going to expire one day. Yeah, man, you know, that, that's an appointment that we, can't, we, can't, we, we got to keep it, yeah, man. It doesn't matter who you are or how much money you got uh, or how much intellect you got or how healthy you are. You're going to leave this world. Somebody say, hey, man. So it's important, just like you planning for your future now, your retirement, the things that you want to do in your retirement, and uh, having and having a uh, sufficient income in your retirement, you need to be planning for eternal life as well. Amen. Amen. That that's one appointment that we're gonna all keep, and we need to plan now for eternal life. I want you to enjoy the life we're living now, and to have everlasting life. When you leave this world, how beautiful that is. Sister Hooks, how beautiful that is to live here in this world and then die and go to heaven. <clears throat> so when they bring you down the aisle, the people in your family will understand. They, are, they, are, they have tears, but they'll be tears of joy because you are passing on to another phase of your life. I want you to understand because some of us never think about death until death happens. <laughs> We don't think about it. We just think people are going to be here, that we're always going to be here. We're always going to be there. Mama's always going to be there. Dad's always going to be there. Cousin's always going to be there. You have to understand that we are going to have to leave here, so it's important to prepare ourselves for our destination. So we are going to go. So please be prepared and don't be unprepared because there's not going to be a chance to prepare when you get up there. Are down there. Somebody say amen. Amen. There are two places, isn't it? Isn't it? We're always talking about heaven, but there is a hell. Come on now. Come on now. And we don't do what thus says the Lord, that we don't accept him in our hearts. We are going down. Amen. But I want you to go up to glory. I want you to go up to glory. Look at Thomas. Thomas is here. He, he didn't have an opportunity to be with the other disciples when they met Jesus. And see, they said, the other disciples therefore said unto him, we have seen the Lord. See, they're saying that we have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, except I shall, look at number one, see in his hands the print of the nail. Number two, put my finger into his print. Of, his, uh, of the print of, of the nails. And number three, thrust my hand into his side. I will not believe. Thomas gave all these. Oh, he wanted all this proof. He, Thomas, was, he's doubting. He wanted all this proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he was excited. He, he, he said, I want to see. I want to know. You know, we got some people today like that. You know, I want to see. I want to feel the spirit. I want to I I be a part of what's going on. And I want to see something. 
But, but you have to understand that the, the, the life we're living as Christians, we walk by faith. Come on now. We walk by faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things, what? Not seen. So we, we can't see it, but we believe it. Come on now. How I many? There's a lot of things you don't see. You don't know how God is going to bring you out, but I believe he's going to bring me out. Somebody say, I believe. You got to believe. You, you got to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that whatever situation we're in, God going to bring us out. I remember when COVID first hit. We didn't know how. We didn't know what was going to happen. Somebody say amen. All the intellect in the world, they didn't know. All the knowledge and all the, all the, all this uh, searching and research and all that, nobody knew. But I said that the Lord, but we had to believe in the Lord. We had to believe that God was going to make a way. People leaving this world all around us. Friends left. Call numbers. and my, Talking to people and they went to voicemail. They said they have lost their, their family called me and said they're gone. COVID has taken them away. So don't you think that's a time that you walk out on faith? There was no answers. They didn't have, they didn't have an answer to nothing. That's why we was all locked up in our houses. And the interstates were empty. I have never seen that before. Going down the interstate, no cars on the interstate. No job. People off their jobs. Everybody in the house on lockdown. But you know, I was on lockdown, but I was praying and I was meditating to God because I knew that he will make a way. How many know he'll make a way? He will make a way. Look at Thomas. Look at Thomas. God made a way. God opened a door and he made a way for each one of us in this building. See, you have to know God kept us here now. It wasn't that we were so smart. It wasn't that the world was so smart. Amen. But it was God that kept us here. Oh, we got the shock. We got boosted up. We put on masks. We got behind the mask. We started doing things and going out again. But then we got behind the mask and didn't want to come to church. Amen. Yeah, we were going down to Win Dicks in Publix, to Walmart. Somebody say amen. But we were scared to come to the house of prayer. Look around you everywhere. Yeah, man. We were masked up going to the anywhere else. Somebody say amen. <laughs> Everywhere you wanted to go, you masked up and you got out there. When it came down to the house of God, they said, oh, okay, oh, something's going to happen. Yeah. Don't you know God is everywhere? If he's at Walmart, he's in the church. Surely he's in the house of prayer. Look at Thomas. Look at Thomas. He said, after eight days again, his disciple was then. This time Thomas is in the meeting. Then Jesus came into the meeting with the disciples. The doors were shut. The doors were shut. How many know that's proof that God is God? Here he stand in a room when the doors are shut. Don't tell me what our God won't do. Don't tell me that he won't do miraculous things in your life. Don't tell me he won't deliver your children. Don't tell me he won't bring your children home. Don't tell me he won't heal your body. Don't tell me. That cancer got to take you out. Don't tell me. Jesus. Because we serve a miraculous God. We serve a real God. One that will make a way out of no way. Yeah, Lord, if he could stand in a room. Brother Mario, with the door locked. Surely he can take care of us. Surely he can take care of the Damascus family. Surely he can take care of the Baker family. Surely. Surely he can do it. Hold me, Holy Ghost. I feel a sweet spirit in this place. And then he said, peace be unto you. Thomas needed that peace. Somebody here need the peace of the Lord. Somebody worried this moment. You got problems in your home. Every time you turn around, something is happening. But Jesus, he stands and said, peace unto you. I thank God for his peace. If I didn't have his peace, I would have lost, Lord, my mind a long time ago. But I'm still here calling on the name of Jesus. The doctors 
said one thing, but God said another. How many know God got the last word? Ooh, now he's so good. He's so good to us. I know he's good. I know he's good. Everybody here know he's good. I know he's good. I've tried him. I've tried him. My way making God. I've tried him. He showed up. Anybody know he'll show up? Does it sound like I can get a witness in the building that my God, he will show up and he will show out. He stood in the midst of them, of the disciples. He told Peter, reach hither thou finger, and behold my hand. Reach hither thou hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Good God Almighty, I know he's good. Jesus said in verse 29, unto him, Thomas, because thou have seen me, thou hast believed. But blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. I'm one of those, I have not seen him. But I have experienced what he can do in my life. Anybody had ever had an encounter with my God? I've had an encounter that I can't turn around. I've had an encounter with God. I can't shake it off. I can't shake it off. He got a hold of me. Anybody here got a hold of Jesus? And I got a hold on Jesus. I got a hold on the man that woke me up this morning. I got a hold on the man that I'm talking to right now. I'm blessed by the best. Anybody here? blessed by the best. I'm blessed in my home. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. Anybody, anybody, somebody, anybody, somebody, anybody, somebody that's been blessed. I know I'm blessed. I'm blessed beyond mirrors. I'm blessed beyond what the world say. I'm blessed even though I don't have everything I want. I'm still blessed. Anybody still blessed? Nobody, nobody but Jesus. I have an experience for myself. He's good. He's good. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. I know, I know, I know too much about him. I know some things I don't know, but this I do know. Some things about man I don't know that wasn't my strong subject, but I do know I can put it together and it adds up to nobody but Jesus. I can add it up and put it together. Nobody but Jesus did it for me. How many know he did it? He did it for you. He did it for your mother. He did it for your brother. He, good God Almighty, nobody, 
nobody but Jesus. He did it. He did it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I can move this morning. I'm so glad. Hold me, Holy Ghost. Hold me, Holy Ghost. He died. He died on Calvary Hill. He died. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm excited about Jesus this morning because I realized that he brought me. He kept me a long time. Church family, I want to encourage you this morning. Whatever you're going through, turn it over to God. Turn it over. He stands with open arms. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ before it's too late. Trust him. Even when you can't trace him. Lord Jesus, I want you to trust him. Ooh, nobody, nobody but Jesus. It was nobody. Lord, have mercy. It was nobody, nobody but Jesus. How many know he brought you? Door the church is open. Come on, choir. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. The door is open. You can join by letter, Christian experience, or baptism. Or you can join on the watch care. We have a watch care ministry here as well. Amen. Come on, choir. Come on, choir. The door is open. The door is open. We're waiting. We are waiting.
Jesus coming back again. Can't you see the signs of the times? The days are getting shorter. The days are getting shorter. Count the years as months. Then count the months as weeks. Then count the weeks as days. Earthquakes and devil's places Payment in everywhere Wars and wars everywhere People don't love like they used to no more Time is winding up Time is winding up, y'all Can't you see the handwriting's on the wall? Can't you hear the preacher when he tells you, get your house in order, Jesus is coming. Get your house in order, he's coming, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Amen. Are you listening? Are you listening? Let every ear hear. Amen. Hallelujah. Just praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Bring back memories. Amen. Amen. The late Sister Brenda William, Evangelist Williams. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is awesome. God is awesome. It's time for our Lord's Supper. Amen. It's time. Hallelujah. 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 Prepare our hearts for the Lord's Supper. If you need one, please raise your hand. Our elements of the Lord's Supper. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank God. Hallelujah. It won't always be. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. God will perfect us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And soon or later, you'll turn in my favor. It's turning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All oh, is turning around, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's turning around for me. It's turning around for me. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everybody's fine. Amen. 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 On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. He broke it and he blessed it and he ate it. His bread represents his broken body. Let us eat together. After the same manner, he took the cup. This cup represents the blood that he shed for us. Let us drink together. As often as we drink this cup, eat this bread and drink this cup, we do show forth his death until he comes again. They all went out to the Mount of Olives and they fellowship one with another. We will have fellowship at the end of our worship service. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Are there any special prayer requests? Now, before we have our special prayer requests, now let's go ahead and have our special prayer requests at this time. A moment of prayer, moment of prayer, moment of prayer. Are there any special um, prayer requests? Are there any special prayer requests? Key family, the Master's Church. Johnson family, Macon. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God is able. The friend family. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Associate and oh my God, lost her. Sister Bunny's Robert's sister lost her husband. Lord have mercy. The Jackson family. Amen. Sister Yushika, hey man, we're praying now. We know prayer works. Prayer works. Prayer works. Cousins of the birthday, hey amen, and yourself, hey amen. We know God is a like how and family. <laughs> we're praying for sister davis we're praying for her we know god is able <laughs> we know god is able. Son. jesus praise the lord look at god he made a way. He made a way. Mess around, Jake. Do up. Amen. Amen. Praying for all of you. Keep keep us all in prayer. Prayer is needed. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you, Lord, the good father, the bereaved family, Father. Give him comfort, Father. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, Father, for the comfort of the Holy Spirit. For the keep going, Father. For the have something to hold on, to claim on, Father, knowing that everything is all well. Father God, you love to go with everyone, Father. That sound my voice, Father. You heard their request. Let them know, Father, you all by you are God all by yourself. I thank you, Father. 
for giving me the wisdom to understand, Father, to, to stay, Father, praying, Father, thanking you, Father, for the Mass of Baptist Church, Father, yes. to uplift them, Father, to change their heart, Father, to soften them, Father, so where they can get the fullness of you, Father. As your, your servant said, we don't need to date you, Father. Yes. We need to marry you. Yes, Lord. And Father, that was about Father. I, I, I lift that name all day, every day. When I, from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, from the time I walk out my door to the time I come inside, talk to myself, Father. I say thank you, Lord, for me marrying you. Thank you, Lord, for the relationship. It ain't no, it ain't no, uh, 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 no, 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 it's no thing of uh, a religion. I don't have no religion. I have a relationship with my dad. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. And I thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because a relationship I'm with you all the time, yeah. not just some of the time. I praise and uplift you at all times before me. With no shame in my life. But all praise go to the Father, which I did know. Father, let the world know it's all about you and nothing else. I'm not here, Father, to soothe someone's soul. But, Father, I'm here to lift your name before man because, Father, it's all about you, Father. It's, a, it's about serious, Father. God knows it's about serious. Father, go with the sick and the shame, Father. Go with the ones in the, in the, in the nursing home. Go with the ones in the jail house. Pray again. Father, call on your man. Let them know how to call on your man. Give them the, give them the wisdom and the knowledge to understand this to call on your name. That's so official. Jesus. Jesus. Father, give us the, the fire in our bones. When every day we wake up, our name, your name is in our mouth. Your name is just to be uplift. Your name is to be the light of the world. Father, go with the, the leader of this country, Father. Let them know, Father, install in them, Father, your wisdom, your understanding, your way, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because it's all about your way, Father. You know, your way, Father, is no good. It's no prosperity. Thank you, Lord. But your, your way is prosperity. It's living water that run and never, it never dry up. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And Father, that's what I ask you in Jesus' name for the ambassador back to church. Or a living spring of water that constant flow, Father. So it flow, we be in the stand up toward the world, showing the light this is, that you are the radius of our life, Father. Thank you, Father, these are things we ask in the love and say in Jesus Christ's name. The one that will upon the cross say, I have done it, it is finished. And Father, you told me, well done, my child. I thank you, Father. I thank you for Jesus. And I thank you for the Holy Spirit. Amen. That you love to keep me comfortable. To keep me in check. And guide us. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. 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 I love saying thank you. I love saying thank you, Father. Keep it on my lips at all times. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for each one of you. It's, it's giving time. And as uh, we get prepared for our Black History uh, Spotlight uh, during the, uh, the month of uh, February, we will have some Black History Spotlights. And then on the third Sunday, of course, we'll have our Black History Insert for my youth. They will be singing on the third Sunday. Hallelujah. Our youth on the third Sunday. And our male chorus will be on the fourth Sunday. Mayo Chorus will be on the fourth Sunday. Now let's prepare for our Black History Spotlight. Mayo Chorus on fourth Sunday. Let's look at it. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Our Black History Spotlight. Amen. Good. 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Every February, people in the United States celebrate the achievements and history of African Americans as part of Black History Month. How did Black History Month get started? I'm glad you asked. In 1915, in response to the lack of information on the accomplishments of Black people available to the public, historian Carter G. Woodson co-founded the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. In 1926, the group declared the second week of February as Negro History Week to recognize the contributions of African Americans to U.S. history. Few people studied black history and it wasn't included in textbooks prior to the creation of Negro History Week. This week was chosen because it includes the birthdays of both Frederick Douglass, an abolitionist, and former United States President Abraham Lincoln. President Lincoln led the United States during the Civil War, which was primarily fought over the enslavement of black people in the country. Many schools and leaders began recognizing the week after its creation. The week-long event officially became Black History Month in 1976 when United States President Gerald Ford extended the recognition to honor the two often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. Black History Month has been celebrated in the United States every February since. Black History Month honors all black people from all periods of the United States history from the enslaved people first brought over from Africa in the early 17th century to African Americans living in the United States today. Since the first Negro History Week in 1926, other countries have joined the United States in celebrating black people and their contributions to history and culture, including Canada, the United Kingdom, Germany, and the Netherlands. Today, Black History Month continues the discussion of black people and their contributions through activities such as museum exhibits and film screenings, and by encouraging the study of achievements by African Americans year round. So our Black History Spotlight is on Carter G. Woodson for the creation of Black History Month. Thank you. Amen. Very good. Now you understand why we are celebrating Black History Month. And I know God has brought us from a mighty long ways. We couldn't go in places, and now we're everywhere. We're in the White House. Amen. Somebody say amen. And it was only because of God. Now, it's giving time. I want you to get excited about giving because this is a very important part of our church, and the worship service is giving. I don't want you to miss this guaranteed blessing. He said he'll open up a windows of heaven and what? And pour you out a blessing you won't have room to receive. All right, praise the Lord. And we're going to ask God to bless these offerings. Amen. So when, you, when God bless these offerings, he will multiply these offerings back to you. A lot of times you don't understand why you're getting blessed. This is one of the reasons why you're being blessed. Why doors are opening when, when you can't understand why they're opening. You do it God's way. And God will, will do some great things in your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. If you need an envelope, raise your hand, please. Raise your hand, please. And at the, as we uh, get ready to leave the church, I want you to, oh, it's a uh, uh, hand is up, please. Amen. Amen. Brother Ben, amen. Take care of that. Amen. We want you to go ahead and take care of your giving. Amen. Take care of your giving. And if you are up here on the front and up around the front area, when you're getting ready to leave, uh, Brother Ben will have a basket up here as well. And you can uh, also take care, you can take care of your gifts in the back. Amen. In, in the middle of the church, we got our tie box. Amen. Our offering box and our benevolent box. Amen. So let us, when church turn out, let us go ahead and take care of our giving. Amen. When church turn out, and if you haven't already given, like I say, Brother Ben had the basket right here. Amen. 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 Always want to lead out. Amen. Our leaders need to lead out in giving. Amen. Amen. We got to do it God's way. Let's do it God's way. Because it's all about. Amen. And let us not forget we do have another way of giving. 
that is no uh, contactless giving is the cash app cash app dollar sign dmbc all jesus a lot of times i've given that out and people have given during the worship service we give everything else on cash app somebody say amen, amen. young people you know we know how to use it i'm gonna consider myself young as well amen <laughs> amen you hit that cash app and you pay amen we paying everything else amen do cash app dollar sign dmbc all jesus dollar sign that's for those that's in video land as well if you would like to give to the church we appreciate you we've had some to give to our church because of the cash app amen dollar sign dmbc all jesus amen let us let us prepare to go home god bless you and god keep you we've had a wonderful service we love you and let's continue to give god the praise may we stand please amen we just love you all so very much thank god for our damascus choir today singing out of their hearts amen amen always and know that you always missed amen i know all your faces amen when you are not here you know pastor knows amen 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 <laughs> i'm looking amen i'm looking at all of you and when you're not here you are missed and i want you to know that you are missed because i want you to get the word of god i want you to stay strong so glad to see brother branson back in our worship service again today with his grandmother amen look at god isn't it god is good isn't it that's what i'm talking about when you go away and come back home you come back to church and check on what's going on here at the church isn't that, isn't that beautiful somebody say amen amen, amen. that's that's impressive we're always looking for something negative let's start encouraging people amen amen god bless you let us pray eternal father we thank you for this day we thank you for our tithes and our offering father we ask that these tithes and offering would go for the upbuilding of this your kingdom because we realize that everything's about you jesus and father bless the hands that gave it father i wanted to go back to them a hundredfold because i know you can do it jesus and i'm asking you to do that father now father go with us as we go down these dangerous highways please father keep the animals in the woods oh god we know you're able jesus the deer they're jumping everywhere but god please uh, keep us safe help us to stay and do what we need to do to keep from getting hit or going in the off the road jesus please sir uh, father help us and father keep us when we go home father we pray that you cover our homes and keep our yards secure father keep our homes secure keep our families secure father do that we're going to ask all these blessings in your holy name, Father. Now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior be with each of you. Let the saints of God say amen, amen, amen and amen.